Okay, so hi everyone, I'm Abigail and this is Mustafa and today we're going to be continuing the general surgery portfolio series. If you haven't already seen the previous videos where we broke down other sections from the portfolio, please, you know, go check them out. In this video, we're going to be looking at training and teaching and training experience and how you can gain these points. If you're new to the channel, please make sure you subscribe down below. That means that you can be up to date with every single video produced. Before we start, we've got a giveaway for everyone. Uh, we've previously given a giveaway and we've got a winner, as you can see. Um, he was a winner of a £50 Amazon voucher and today we're doing the exact same thing. Now to enter the giveaway, it will take two minutes. You need to subscribe and like this video. You need to watch the video to the end. Make sure you leave a comment below telling us that you've done so. And finally, share it to your colleagues, whether that's through the Surgical Society page or through your Facebook if you have medical friends. We want to make sure every medical student and FY doctor gets the opportunity to improve their CV by watching these videos. The giveaway will last four weeks and it will be the same giveaway over the next four videos during this series. Okay, so the next STEM section we're going to be doing is the teaching experience. Now this ranges from zero to two to four to six to eight points. Now for um, two points, what you have to do is essentially teach a medical student or other healthcare professionals in like one circumstance and get some formal feedback. So this could simply be if you're a junior doctor on the ward and you've got a group of medical students, if you want to teach them something, then all you do is just get um, feedback, formal feedback at the end and this counts as your two points. So it's really easy to do. Then if we want to get four points, the difference between two and four is just the time duration. So four points you have to do the teaching for three months um, or more. A good example um, for basically getting these points would be speaking to your local societies that do regular teaching and get involved with this and then get some formal feedback at the end to prove that you've done it. Um, and then this should be get your four points. Yeah, so six and eight points is just picking it up a level. And basically, instead of being involved in teaching that has lasted three months, now you're designing your own teaching program. Mm -hmm. um, now, I, I honestly don't think anyone should be getting six points because getting eight points is probably simpler. The difference between six points and eight points is you've created a teaching program um, which will last three months. But for eight points, you involve local tutors, you involve your seniors, you involve other people. You collaborate with other people, which actually makes your life easier and gives you more points. So no one should be going for, for six points whatsoever. Mm. Um, a good tip is basically just find like-minded friends that you think would be good for um, collaborating with. And then you can split the work between each other so it's not as much, essentially. Yeah, exactly. Okay, so the next section of the general surgery portfolio is training and teaching. So Mustafa, tell us a wee bit mm. more about the point breakdown for this. Yeah, so, so it's really good in the previous section to teach other people. But what good is it if we don't know how to teach people? So training and teaching basically is about what experience do you have in teaching people? So to get two points, it's really simple. There's a course called Train the Teacher for, for doctors, basically. Um, and it's a two-day course where they teach you lots of teaching and developing your teaching skills. And if you do that, you get half the points in this section. It's really easy. Yeah. So if you want to do three points, you simply go to a course or kind of module. And um, you do this for two or more days. And that's what gets you the three points instead yeah. of the two. Uh, finally, to get four points to get maximum points, and this is really useful whether it's because you're applying to core surgical training mm -hmm. or later on in your career as a consultant, is to get a PG certificate. Um, now, it does cost a bit of money, but you can do this over a, a long year period, and you also will have the opportunity to extend that, make that um, a diploma, and further on, you can make it a master's in teaching, and that looks incredibly good on your CV, especially if you're applying to a consultancy post later on down the line. Um, where it's in a teaching hospital, they'll obviously prefer the consultant that has teaching experience over the consultant that doesn't have teaching mm -hmm. experience. Okay, so <laughs> this is the end of the video and um, we hope you enjoyed it. It's not too complicated, hopefully, um, and we hope you got something out of it. Please like, comment and subscribe below and share to any of your friends that you think you would enjoy this video. If you've not checked out our social media accounts, the links are down below. If you've not been through our channels, uh, through our social media, Instagram, Facebook, we provide lots of free medical education content. Please check it out. Go ahead and follow. Um, and also, don't forget the giveaway. The, ma the main reason for the giveaway is actually spreads this message across to lots of people and everyone can get going with their portfolio and raise awareness for this. Thank you. See you soon. Thank you.